with a basic understanding of documents and how documents are really JSON or JavaScript object notation, and that they hold key value pairs, and that's how we manage the data within a document. Now we're going to talk about collections. Collections are a way within our database to create groups of documents that are related to one another. Now in our first collection here, the my first collection, we actually, because the collection has no valid name to indicate what our collection of documents is, we went ahead and created some crazy documents that actually have no relation one to another. We have a user right here, and then we have a comment on a blog post right here and they both live in the same collection and as we spoke about when we talked about the domic the documents this can create a lot of problems in your database because you will have non-related documents scattered inside of a one giant collection and it'll make it really hard to manage the data within your application in order to kind of mitigate this we tend to use collections in order to group related documents. So if we were going to reformat this collection right here that we have that had a user in it and a blog post in it or a blog comment, we would most likely want to create different collections for each of those documents. So we would most likely have a users, I'm going to go ahead and use a lowercase, users collection. And then we would have a comments collection. And then because, of course, comments are related to blog posts, we would most likely have a posts collection as well. Now, instead of putting this object right here inside of this crazy collection that has really no context, what we would want to do is delete that, delete that, go back to our database, most likely delete this collection because it makes no sense. And so, of course, it wants to make sure that we're really serious that we want to delete this collection. So it makes us type the name again. All right, so now we go back to our My First database. And now that we've got users, posts, and comments, this gives us a little bit better structure because we have some implied constraints around the documents that should be inside of this collection. And the implied constraint is that <clears throat> this collection should really only have user documents in it. So when we insert a new document in it, they should follow the same pattern. They should look about the same. They should have the same key value pairs. So if we have determined that a user has a name and an email, we should see that every user that gets added to this collection has those same fields name, Sally, and then email, let's do test2 at test.com. And now because we're using this implied restriction on the type of documents that can go inside of this collection, we of course are now going to begin to see documents that are related. In other words, they are similar in nature. Now, does that mean that we couldn't still put garbage into this collection? No, MongoDB still isn't doing any kind of restriction or checking on the type of documents that we're adding to this collection. In fact, we could add a complete garbage document to this collection and have it not follow this format. And that is because MongoDB isn't concerned about the data that's inside of our documents. It only cares that for a particular collection, we've asked to insert a document into that collection. And it is not going to validate that this document actually belongs in this because to MongoDB, users doesn't have any meaning to it. It is simply a collection. And the document that gets inserted into that collection has no meaning to Mongo. Mongo is just going to keep a record of the number of collections we have and the number of documents and those documents themselves that belong to that collection. That's really all it does and that's really all it cares about. It's really up to us inside of our application, inside of our business logic or inside of our data, data access layer. It's our responsibility to make sure that we are using the proper collections to store the right documents and that our documents have the right attributes inside of them in order to be a similar document to the documents that already exist with inside of a collection. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because it really doesn't belong inside of this collection. Now, 
if we look at our database here, we've got our users and those are similar documents. Same thing would go with posts. We would want to make sure that any document that got inserted into posts has similar features like title, my new post, and then the body of the post. This is my new post. And we would want to make sure that every single document that is inside of posts follows this. But again, that's left up to us inside of our application logic, inside of our data access layer or inside of our business logic layer. We are the ones that are going to have to restrict what gets put into posts and that those documents all follow a very similar pattern or have similar data inside of them. Same thing goes for comments. So again, a basic understanding is collections are just a set of related documents and how they are related is totally up to us as the developer. Mongo doesn't really care. It is simply going to add documents to the collection and assume that whoever inserted that document has validated that it's a document that actually belongs inside of that collection. Other than that, it is simply going to record the documents to the database and record what collection it was put in. That's all it cares about.